today's episode, I'm going to show you a simple way to hold wedge-shaped glass, glass in general, and large diameter uh, mugs and tumblers on a chuck style rotary. Real simple, you can do it too. Welcome back to Fabin Adventures, guys. Today is a little different video, obviously different backdrop. And uh, if you've been following my channel, you know it's fabrication, welding, jet boating, outdoor adventures, 4 x 4 stuff like that. But I also do some laser work, and I'm fairly new to it. I've had a diode laser for a little over a year now, and I just got this 80-watt uh, CO2 Ohm Tech laser. Uh, I've had it about a couple of months, so I'm still learning. And, and there may be better ways to do what I'm about to show you, uh, but this works actually pretty darn good for me. And uh, what I've seen is a lot of questions on a couple of groups that I'm on on Facebook on how to hold wedge-shaped glass or, or any type of glass in general or large diameter uh, mugs and stuff in a rotary style chuck. So these rotary style chucks, they only open so big, uh, even with the reverse chuck, you know, for grabbing, you can only grab so big a stuff. Besides the fact that they're steel jaws and trying to grab, grab something like glass, uh, is a good chance you're gonna break it and it won't grab very good. Now you can wrap an O-ring around the jaws and stretch it out or a rubber band or something like that, but you're still putting pressure on glass uh, expanding or, you know, crushing on the glass to hold it and hoping it's gonna hold. And it's a smooth surface uh, you know, it just doesn't, there's better ways to do it. <laughs> we'll just say that. And I came up, I didn't actually come up with this design. I seen it on the internet somewhere and I kind of adapted it and made it work for myself. And it works actually really good. So what it is, is basically uh, what you're seeing here on this end. Is, and this is a small version of it. It's basically a, a couple of one inch discs uh, glued together to a bigger disc to a rubber backing that you can see here which gives it grip to turn the uh, glass and a rear cup for the back side of the cup or glass or whatever that just holds it and centers it and has a wee little hole in here to center with your live center on your little chuck. Uh, I'm going to show you how I do it um, on a computer and uh, I'm not going to show you it in action. Uh, you can basically see it here, how it works. You know, just like any old laser, you set your rotary up, you put this in, set your steps, put your pattern in, this thing rotates and the laser cuts it, right? So simple enough, but I'm going to show you how to make this little setup real easy. Let's get to it. So the beauty to this design is you can put different size uh, centering discs on there. See, I've got a bunch of different discs and you just put it on for whatever mug you're using, right? You measure the inside diameter of the mug and you cut out a disc and that's what centers your cup on there. Obviously this is the wrong one, right? And then you make uh, a bunch of these cups that go on to the back and they center your cup. So every project typically needs a new cup and a new disc. Uh, some of the Yeti stuff and other mugs are really similar and you can get away with using the same disc for a Yeti as for another off-brand or something like that, but you still have to measure it. All right, so here you can see I got a new 30 ounce uh, Bear Claw mug in and I've been checking a bunch of my cups to see if any of them fit. That one's loose, that one's way too loose. And this one, I might be able to get away with. It would hold it up, but it doesn't quite, it doesn't quite seat down in there. So I'll make a new rear disc for this. I'll measure this, I'll make a disc for the front here and, and we'll just go from there. So first thing you want to do is measure the bottom of your cup. And I just go down 
oh, I don't know, uh, a quarter of an inch or something like that, and I take a measurement, and 72.77, so I'm going to write that down. And then we're going to take a measurement of the inside. And wiggle it a little bit and make sure everything is square and read it at 94.75. That's and that's tight. You want to make it a smidge smaller. And then we go to the computer and make our disc. It's really simple. Okay, here we are. We got light burn set up here. Let's select our circle. We'll bring a little circle, six millimeter, perfect. Now we want to make a 25 millimeter disc, roughly. It doesn't have to be 25, it can be 28, 26, whatever. We're gonna go with 25, basically an inch. We'll select that, drag it over, center it, select it again, duplicate it. Make three of them. And then we need to make a backing plate. Uh, I already have the, the right size backing plate, <clears throat> but I'll make one that I need, which I would say uh, like an 80 millimeter one. So we can duplicate that one more time. And then we'll just click on the outer ring. We'll make that 80 millimeters. That'll be our backing plate. And then we need one inside the mug at 94.75. So we'll grab this one again, duplicate it. Drag it down, select the outer ring, and make it 94.75. I'm going to call it 94.74. 94.74. Enter. So that's our size disc for the mug. So we'll just bring him over here. So now we need to make our discs for the outside at 72.77. We'll make that one 72.78. So what we need now is a two millimeter or a three millimeter hole. I've been making them two millimeters so they don't stick through too far. And then we need to make it 72.78. Seventy two point seven eight. Now this here is our bottom cup and we want to center it. Now we make two more discs like this one. but they don't need to have this center hole here. So these are at 72.78. So we actually want to duplicate these again. We'll put them down here just for easy figuring. Now these ones we want to make 82.78 and I'll show you why right quick here 82.78 there we go now you take them you slide them over there and you take this and you slide it over there and that is basically, oh, this one here is the wrong size. This needs to be 82 also. There, 
we're basically ready to cut. We'll just organize this a little bit better and we'll start cutting. We'll just select these guys. Put in some text so I know what size these are for easy figuring. So 72.78 millimeter. And that's what that one is. 94.74. So we'll add some text into there. 94.74 millimeters. Okay, that should basically be done. We should be ready to cut. We're going to keep those. Let's put those to a different spot. All right, so I got a piece of quarter inch Baltic birch plywood in there. Program is set. Let's frame it. Make sure it's going to work. We'll just bring it down just to be safe. Do it one more frame. And we're basically ready to press cut. Okay, so now you can see that I took all the ones that I don't need for this next cut. I'm going to cut the rubber backing out of this 80 millimeter one. So I'm going to set these here to a tool layer so that they don't get cut. And this should be our 80 millimeter disc. Yep. So we're going to cut that out of eighth inch thick sheet rubber. All right, so you can see the sheet rubber in here you can get this stuff off Amazon it's actually relatively cheap I bought it for a completely different project but it works great for the the backing the gripping of the uh, glass that you're going to be rotating so let's make sure the fan is on and we will cut that 80 millimeter circle out of this stuff all right there's our rubber disc done with this. Okay, so now that we have all our parts cut, we don't need the rubber backing, we take these three one inch discs, they would go through there. This is our backing disc, it would go on, and then I would put this nut on. Then we're going to put a little bit of CA glue, glue this all together. Hit it with a little accelerator so it speeds up. That'll cure that. Now we make the lower cup, and with that, all I do is I kind of eyeball them, and I'll clamp them together. And you just want to make sure that this surface is square with this surface. You don't want it oblong. So you want to just basically just feel it to make sure it feels right and then glue it. All right, simple as that. Now that you have your backing disc and rubber, you take the disc that we sized for the mug, 
put it through there, tighten the nut. Doesn't have to be super tight, but tight enough that it can't move. And that goes on there. That should fit there nicely. Doesn't even come off, it's perfect. And there it is. Just a slight little bit of wiggle room, perfectly. So it's as simple as putting that in there, tightening in this down. You don't want your backing disc too big, bigger than your tumbler, because if your laser has to go real close to here, it's gonna go by and hit your backing disc, so you don't. My laser is focused at 15 millimeters above, so you definitely don't want more than 15 millimeters of this sticking up above, or your laser could hit it. And then you can basically put your tumbler in there like that, put this on there, pull that into center, and there it is, set up. So I hope that little backing disc uh, setup, I don't know what to call it, but my disc setup for the mugs helps you out and you can use it and you find some value in these videos. If you do, make sure you subscribe, share, like these videos, give me a thumbs up, and we'll catch you on the next episode.